Hey everybody, I'm JJ, you're watching Reality Survival. And today I'm gonna to show you what my latest project is. Um, this is a couple of 200 watt Bouge RV solar panels. And as you guys know, I've been trying to beef up my own power production capability. I've been talking to you guys about it and I try to practice what I preach. And so I'm trying to uh, have some capability to be able to um, produce my own power. So this is a 400 watt set. And what I've done, and I can't take full credit for this. I saw like three different YouTube videos that had different variations of this. And I don't remember if it was like everyday out, everyday solar or re-ray outdoors or I don't remember for sure. Um, but anyway, I've just kind of made my own version. <laughs> and so let me show you kind of what we got going here. So I took the first step was to take the panels and lay them down beside each other. And then I riveted on four hinges. Okay. And you got to give them some, you know, some separation there and all that. But so that was step one. Once that was done, then I came over and I put on these hasps because my goal, and I put, put one down here and then a handle here. And, I, and on the handle, I had to cut, cut part of it off so it's not full width, but I just put two rivets in and I riveted the hasps and I riveted the, the hinges. It's just a little easier, I think, when you're dealing with this real, this real thin metal to use uh, pop rivets. So then, uh, one of my Christmas gifts from my son that I asked him to give me was um, this kit from Bouge RV, and it's a solar panel kit, and it's for putting legs, you know, to set something up like this. Now. It might look a little squirrely because that angle piece is turned different than this angle piece. <laughs> and the reason that I had to do that was because my goal here is to be able to get all of this stuff to fit folded up inside of itself so that it's all self-contained. And so I think that I have got that accomplished I'll have to, uh, I'll have to see. <laughs> I haven't actually tried to fold it up yet, but I think I, I think I do. So I'll, I'll try uh, with you guys here. But these, these Bouge RV panels are pretty nice. Um, I, you know, the only, the only downside I could say to them is I, it would be nice if the aluminum was a little bit thicker around the panels. Um, I've seen some that are thicker, but. It's still sturdy enough, but these particular ones are 200 watts is the, um, the maximum power. The voltage is 19 volts and the max power current is about 11 amps. Open circuit voltage, 22.5 open short circuit current, 12.2 amps. So, uh, pretty, pretty decent sized panels and I can, you know, I can run these either in series or parallel and, uh, use them to charge up my little solar panels. I just noticed something. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to switch that because I've got some rub in there. So I don't want that. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to adjust that somewhat. That one is two. So. I'm going to have to trim those corners off of those so that will fit a little bit better. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the general concept and I'd like to be able and you know, I can adjust it to different, you know, uh, heights and all that kind of stuff. Or, you know, the legs could come out a little farther backwards if we wanted to, um, We'll just have to, the only, the only thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make that, that cut. I'm going to have to cut about an inch off the top of each one of those, and that way we get more adjustment. But 
I think this is the basic concept of it. Um, I think it should should pretty well work. Oh, and then the last thing that I did is I took, um, and I'm going to try to keep these. These came in packing, and I'm going to try to keep them on it just for when closing it up. It keeps it from, you know, like slamming together or whatever. So the last thing that I did is I went to Lowe's and I got a piece of um, this this little galvanized. Um, I don't know what they call that angle iron with holes in it. <laughs> and then these are two of the additional knobs that I had left over that came with that kit. And so I just put holes there and I've, I've got holes for another one if we need to, but that just keeps this little hinge from, you know, from, from folding and, and like folding in on itself. And it kind of holds it, holds it nice and strong and, and sturdy. So you can kind of pick it up and move it as one piece. But anyway, um, let me uh, make them last couple cuts and fold it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so made a couple of adjustments, got a few things trimmed up and uh, I think what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna get another piece of this, this uh, angle iron with holes in it. <laughs> There's probably a real name for that, I just don't know what it is. Um, and then I'm gonna, put it across the bottom there. So it's gonna to have to be about five feet uh, crossed. And, but I wanna make sure that it'll fit inside the length of the panel. So I'll have to take that measurement because again, I want everything to fit inside of it. Uh, okay, let's fold it up and see if it'll all fit inside. All right, so we take the uh, little arms off and kind of fold them down into themselves. There's three of them together there. And uh, just kind of stick it to one end. And then this one can kind of fold up on itself there. And now, let me see if I can do this with one hand. I don't know if I can. <laughs> so, I think it'll be easier for to see it if I, oops, nope, we got problems. We're gonna have to take those arms off too because those slip inside of themselves. So I'm gonna have to take that one, that one over there loose. Hang on. Okay, so I got that out of the way and now we're gonna close it up and then Hmm, that's tight. Hit the latch. Ow. And then I've got these little tracker pins, just because I don't have anything else right now. You could put a bolt or padlock or whatever, but that'll just hold it closed. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And then I've got the handle there. And so now I can pick it up and carry it wherever I need to. Um, let me see if it'll, I don't think it'll sit. Doesn't look like it'll sit up on its end, but there you have it. So it'll store away a little uh, tighter and easier in one piece. It's got everything I need on it. Um, actually, you know what I might throw inside of it? I've got some uh, solar cables. I was actually gonna put them in some, inside some conduit to protect them, but later on, I may throw those cables in there as well. They're just several different lengths of cables. That's something that people don't think about a lot. Um, you know, when you're, you get a solar generator and if you have any intention on using it for, you know, to actually be recharged, recharged with solar, you also got to buy the panels. You also got to figure out how to stand the panels up, where you're going to put them in your yard. So you get full facing sun, how far that distance is to where the generator is going to be. So you can have enough cable to get it in, you know, so that it, it can charge and stuff. 
because you don't want to necessarily leave your generator have to sit outside right next to the cables uh, or right next to the panels. And, you know, I think that 70 feet of the uh, cable that I got was about a hundred bucks. Um, now you might be able to make up your own a little bit cheaper, but not a whole lot probably. But anyway, this is, uh, I think this is going to work out pretty good. It looks pretty clean and I think it's going to, I think it'll suffice. The only thing I do, like I said, I need to get, I need to get the angle iron. Let's see. Yeah. If I go, I'll go less than the length so it'll fit inside there with the other pieces. I'll cut it to length and uh, then that'll just screw on there and hold that base apart and I think it'll be done. That is cool. Easy peasy. Uh, I wouldn't say super easy actually. It was it was about uh what time is it? It's 8:20. Well, I guess I had about 5 hours total messing with it. And, you know, I didn't have any template or anything. It was just kind of like figuring out, hey, where do I want this to go? And what do I want it to look like? And how do I want it to, to fit together and everything? And uh, so, yeah, about five hours work on a Saturday afternoon. Not too bad. I had about a, a $73, about $73 in, uh, in parts. But I, I bought... A lot of extra. I always buy extra whenever I go to the auto parts store or to the to the Home Depot. Like there's some there's some little hinges I didn't use and some brackets, some of that stuff. I'll just keep it, you know, around. It probably would have been about forty dollars, thirty five to forty dollars worth of of hard, actual hardware, um, you know, with the rivets and all that kind of stuff. But anywho, that is uh, just my latest project. And I will, uh, I've got another uh, 100 watt kind of semi flexible Bouge RV solar panel. I'll show you guys that one on another video here for too long. All right, one last thing I did is I took uh, some half inch pop rivets and pop riveted with a washer, put a little washer underneath the pop rivet on each side so that this foam will hopefully stay on. It's, it's pretty dense foam, um, so I think it'll last for a while. It won't last forever, but uh, I think it'll work. And it doesn't have to be there because these screws, uh, the, the, the bolt heads, are actually what is stopping it uh, from coming together. But I just, I just liked having that padding there. So anyway, that's that. Um, hey, if you guys didn't know, we have a cell phone app. It is called American Prepping Academy, um, and it is on both the Google and Apple uh, store. It's free. It's free for content creators, and it's free for users. It does not collect any information from your phone. Zero. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. <laughs> um, and so check it out. It's pretty cool, and it'll allow you to... Um, you know, search and all that. And, and it's got, we've got over 4,000, four or 5,000 videos. I think we've got like 15 uh, content creators. And so, yeah, check it out. It's pretty cool and it's free. And it keeps you informed on when we publish videos because YouTube, you know, screws with the algorithm and they don't show everybody videos and everything like that. This time with this app, um, whenever we upload a video within 24 hours, you'll get a notification inside the app so that when you open the app and look in there, there'll be a little blue bell and to let you know, Hey, there's a new video. So we're just trying to get around the algorithm. <laughs> anyway, take care guys.